I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be looking at engineering railguns. One of the most effective weapons in Elite, railguns are fantastic for both PvE and especially PvP combat. While unengineered they are extremely hot, limiting their usefulness, once engineered properly you can achieve as much as a 50% thermal reduction. As useful for their experimental effects as they are for their damage, let's take a look at engineering these small and medium sized hardpoints. Railguns offer five blueprints, long range, sturdy, short range, lightweight, and high capacity. Starting with likely the most useful blueprint, long range, our maximum range is doubled with fall off receiving a similar increase, bringing their fully effective range to six kilometers. At this distance, micro gimbling makes hitting a target or its modules possible, dealing damage at very long range. This does come with a 30% increase in mass and a 15% increase in power draw. Looking at the second most effective blueprint, Sturdy, we see a significant 30% reduction in thermal load with 60% higher armor piercing and a 300% integrity increase. This does, however, come at the cost of a doubling of mass. Next, we look at short range, which increases damage by a huge 75% while lowering range by 50% and increasing thermal load by a significant 40%. Lightweight sees a 90% reduction in mass with 40% lower power draw and 35% lower distributor draw. This comes at the cost of a 60% reduction in integrity. Finally, we have high capacity which doubles the clip size and ammo capacity while increasing the rate of fire by 10%. This does come with a 60% increase in mass and a 20% increase in power draw. Railguns offer us eight experimental effects, feedback cascade, super penetrator, double braced, flow control, multi servos, oversized, stripped down, and plasma slug. Starting with one of the most popular, feedback cascade, this experimental dissipates 30% of a cell bank's energy if struck during the spin up time of the bank. This comes with the added benefit of a 40% thermal reduction at the cost of 20% of overall damage. Super penetrator munitions are capable of penetrating hull and damaging all internal modules along the trajectory of the shot, making them extremely useful for attacking specific internal modules such as frame shift drives and power plants. This also offers a 40% thermal reduction, however it increases reload time by 50%. Double braced increases module integrity by 15% with flow control lowering power draw by 10%. Multi servos decreases the rate of fire by 3% while increasing power draw by 5%. Oversized increases damage by 3% while also increasing power draw by 5%. Stripped down lowers module mass by 10% with finally plasma slug synthesizing ammunitions from your fuel rather than by a fixed amount. This also offers a 40% thermal reduction but comes at the cost of 10% less damage. While unengineered, railguns are difficult to use, with many of these blueprints and experimental effects, railguns become a highly effective and potent weapon. In many cases, their experimental effects, specifically feedback cascade and super penetrator, are far more important than the blueprint or damage they deal. Hopefully this look at railguns will help you build a highly effective combat ship, whether you want to dispatch NPCs or engage human targets. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that look at railguns, I hope you'll check out my other content and that you'll join me for my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays and the Creators Roundtable each Friday and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.